That's not good. Just was going through some stuff. It's a little heartbreaking for her. I can't do this today. How's it going, y'all? Welcome back to the Green Dream Project. Jim here. Now, if you're new here, my wife and I are building our own earth bag house off grid here in the Arizona desert. Now, if you caught our last video, you know that I put up some screen material in between our plywood. I also put some stucco mesh over that and it was a crazy windy day, but I got the first layer of that stucco mesh down. Now I want to get a second layer of the stucco mesh over that. And then I think we'll be ready for the next phase. I already got all of my screen cut and ready to go, so now I just need to get it up and in place. The last time I brought all the wire up to the top, and I don't think I can do that this time because if I bring it all the way up to the uh, eaves, it's immediately gonna become a tangled mess. So what I think I'm gonna do is kind of bring it up to one of the platforms and then y'all you know, just have to walk all the way around the eaves back and forth to grab every single piece. I think it's just the way it's gonna have to be. So the wind's not too bad today. It's not as bad as it was the other day. So I'm gonna head up there and try and get all this mesh in place. So we're ready to go for the next phase. Well, it's windy today. Um, I mean, I think it's just gonna be like this probably for a while. So it's just something we'll have to deal with. Uh, meanwhile, we did step out for a little bit and we picked up a little supplies. We picked up some boards and some Portland cement. That's gonna come into play shortly. But meanwhile, I gotta get this stuff unloaded and get back to work, a lot to do. That one was close, I could have taken out an eye. With these boards over here, I think I'm gonna stick those in the shipping container as well. I mean, it's been cloudy. I think there's a possible chance of rain, you know, and if there's a chance of rain, I don't want these to get soaked. So I'm gonna toss them in the container too. I'm out here kind of late, trying to take advantage of uh, the little light I got left. Get as much done today as possible. The winds are still kicking up today, but they'll be worse tomorrow, so I'd rather get this part done, you know what I mean? Hey, uh, there was a bird inside the dome. Again? Yeah, they must love it in there. It's kind of tricky up here with all the wire. It's also not fun kneeling on all the wire. This is, this is how I gotta get the, the wire. <laughs> Got it. All right, good morning, y'all. Early in the morning, time to head out, get it done. I gotta get the wire the rest of the way around the dome. And I wanna do it quickly because the wind today is supposed to be worse than the wind yesterday. I really don't wanna be up there and dealing with that. So get out here early, knock it out, then I'll be done with it. <laughs> but it is, it's gonna be a little chilly. It's chilly now and uh, the temperature really isn't gonna get that much higher. It looks cloudy. I don't know if it's gonna stay cloudy like this all day, but a thick layer of clouds for sure. So I'm gonna get up there and then uh, we'll get this done ASAP. I think this is a perfect activity for you to be doing today because it is cold, cloudy, and windy out there. Yes. <laughs> I still got to hustle out there a little bit, but uh, I am a little envious. Mm. Looks like a very elaborate stencil. Mm -hmm. After the last stencil you did, do you feel like a little bit more confident? Well, this is a little different from the last stencil you did. So the other one was like the glass etching. And this one is kind of painting. But do you feel a little bit more confident using the step stencils and the paint? No. Oh. <laughs> okay. Because so, it is it's pretty different. So I'm not even sure how this is going to work yet. I thought it would be easier. I just got it stenciled. Is it that any easier? I can't use that stencil on the glass. Oh.
All right, I got the second set of stucco mesh going all around the dome. It's looking good. Got it done before the wind really started kicking up, so I'm happy about that. Now I just kind of want to go and take care of any of the low spots. I want to put some boards up there, kind of a lighter weight material to kind of fill in some of those gaps before we start going any further with the ferro cement. So let's get started with that. So what are you doing now? Oh, I'm making a stencil. Well, the winds have picked up just as predicted. It's pretty bad up here. I'm glad I don't have to be walking around the eaves like I was this morning. You can see my ladder fell over. That's not good. But I'm still trying to get some work done up there, just uh, trying to get those eaves leveled. Honestly, it made it more difficult putting the wire up, I'll admit it. I thought maybe it would help me kind of be able to eyeball things and level things out, but that wasn't the case. Not gonna just kind of move things around in order to <laughs> bring up those low spots, but uh, I don't know, man. It's, it's maybe not a good day for being up there. <laughs> Crew, how you doing with that wind? How you doing with that wind? So it looks to me like you are on the next phase. Painting phase. Looking good, Jess. <laughs> you look like you're cold even in here. Well, it is a cold, cold morning today. I'm not ready for it. It uh, dropped down below 20 degrees today. And I know, I know it's not as cold as uh, a lot of places, especially going further north, but uh, it's pretty cold here. <laughs> But it should be a low wind day, so that's nice. It was pretty cold trying to take crew for a walk this morning, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, now that the sun is up, it should be heating up pretty quick. Maybe it'll be over freezing here in an hour or so, so that's good. I gotta get up there, I gotta finish getting some more boards up there, kinda level things off. It's coming along pretty well. So the good news is I think this is the last area I have to level. I think everything else looks pretty good. So I'll just get up there, kind of, uh, take some measurements, see what I got to work with, and uh, we'll get this part finished off. So with that last board up there, I think things might be ready to go. I think things are looking pretty good, but as with everything, I wanna get Jess's seal of approval. I know Cruz's the usual inspector, but he can't get up there to walk around the eaves. So I'm gonna have Jess kinda go up there, see what she thinks about the wire coverage, see what she thinks about the uh, leveling, and, uh, and we'll go from there. Uh-oh. Speaking of Inspector Crusoe. Sorry, buddy, you're out of a job. We need mommy. We need mama. We need mama to check that out. <laughs> now, unfortunately, while I was working on the eaves yesterday, something happened on the inside. Uh, Jess was going through some stuff. It was a little heartbreaking for her. Is that the plate? Yeah. So... You remember how I spent the whole day uh, making an intricate stencil and then painting it? I do remember. Uh, this is what I have to show for all the work. What happened exactly? Uh, it didn't work out. I was hoping I could just buy a stencil and it would make the work a little easier. So I tried just using the stencil. I even got some like stencil adhesive, but that doesn't work on glass. So I tried making a stencil like I did with the last window with the contact paper. That didn't work either. You know, if it's wet, it's a little too like liquidy, I think, and it kind of runs. If it's too dry, it just peels off. It's kind of disappointing. You looked heartbroken. It just kind of got me in a, a little funk, I think, because I felt like 
I wasted the whole day and I'm already kind of disappointed with the progress that I've been making with this window and it's just everything's kind of taking a long time. You know, in my mind, I see how it is when it's finished. But I don't always like see the process and what all is involved and the time it takes or any complications. And it seems like every time we do something new, you know, there's a learning process and things never go smoothly the first time. And it can be frustrating. These are one of those times where it was very frustrating. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a little thing, really. It's like painting a plate and then it just, kind of knocked the wind out of my sails, I guess. That whole next day, you're definitely in a funk and you kind of focused on the chores, right? I needed to do that um, kind of just to clear my head. I needed to get away from this for a little bit. I didn't even uh, film any of that. Because... I don't think you wanted to be on camera. No. <laughs> um, I, didn't, I wasn't having good energy. Another thing that's been hard for me is, you know, being as shy of a person as I am, and introverted, it's really difficult sometimes to get in front of the camera and just express myself. Some days it's really hard and just knowing that there's gonna be thousands of people watching me, you know, and putting my personal life out there for the entire world to see it's a little overwhelming some days for me and knowing that some of those people are going to be judging me. So I'm, I'm feeling a little better today. I'm just, you know, trying to remember there are a lot of supportive people. Jim's one of them. I hope <laughs> I better be one of them. <laughs> and also just keeping in mind the whole reason for why I'm doing all this, kind of the big picture, you know, all the bumps in the road, it's all worth it ultimately because I do believe in what we're doing. I believe in, you know, the way that we're living or trying to live out here and the videos that we're making, I feel like it's a worthwhile thing to do, so. But there's just those days that, you know, I get down and get frustrated and discouraged. And sometimes I'm like, I just, I can't do this today. So first off, I just want to applaud you for talking about this. It's very rare that I've seen kind of your spirit so down like that. It's not often you get like that, at least not, not anymore. But honestly, uh, I felt like that not too long ago myself. I mean, it happens from time to time. It was that one thing, but it was probably a buildup of mm -hmm. a bunch of things. And then that one thing just sort of like snapped. Yeah. And I think a lot of people absolutely can relate to those, those feelings that you are going through, you know? You know, we're human and uh, so you know working on projects like this you know we're gonna we're bound to kind of run into those snags gonna bring us down a little bit that's why it's good that we are out here together and we have each other to kind of give each other that support I have other ideas for this and I think it'll work feeling good about it <laughs> yeah I know it will so I think uh, I think I can't wait to see where you go from here Meanwhile, work continues on the eaves. I got more wire up there. I think I got things leveled off. I'm still waiting on uh, just to kind of get up there and uh, give me the okay <laughs> on how everything looks. But I can't wait for the next edition and I'm sure we'll be making more progress on the wind. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Let's get some support to Jess in the comments section. She could use it. And uh, we'll get you guys on the next video.